Welcome back to Bible Shorts, episode 82, The Assyrians Come Back. Now remember in episode 81, we learned how the Assyrians invaded the northern kingdom of Israel. God had sent prophets to warn people that unless they stopped worshiping idols and instead obeyed him, they would become slaves of the Assyrians. The Assyrians laid siege to the city of Samaria and two years later captured the city. Many of the inhabitants were led back to Assyria as captives, just as God had warned. Ten years later, the Assyrians returned to invade the kingdom of Judah, ruled by King Hezekiah. City after city fell to the powerful Assyrian army. The Syrians worked down the coast and then laid siege to the city of Lachish on the border of Judah and the lands of the Philistines. King Hezekiah knew that Jerusalem might be the next target of this mighty army. He set the people to work to repair the city walls and blocked some of the water streams outside the city and prepared for battle. It was a good thing he did, because God's people faced a deadly enemy in those days. His name was Sennacherib, a new king of Assyria. Everyone had heard of Sennacherib. He was so powerful and cruel that people talked about him in whispers. He burns down whole cities, you know, they told each other. His soldiers are so well armed, they win every battle they fight. One day, the people in Jerusalem heard that some of Sennacherib's army were coming. They shut and barred the gates. The city walls of Jerusalem were strong and high. The day came when some of the great army of Sennacherib arrived at the gates of Jerusalem. The sun shone on their sharp spears. The city was surrounded. All the people were trapped inside. A messenger from Sennacherib came to the city gate. You better come and talk to me, Hezekiah, he shouted. I have an important message for you. King Hezekiah sent out three of his advisors to talk to Sennacherib's messenger. The messenger said, Why don't you surrender now? You know that we are stronger than you. Don't tell me that Hezekiah is trusting in his God. That would really make me laugh. The people on the city wall could hear all that the messenger was saying. Don't let King Hezekiah fool you, he shouted up to them. You'll never win a battle against Sennacherib. No one else has. Hezekiah is telling you lies. What makes you think your God is so much better than the gods of other lands? The messenger went on. We won against them. We shall win against you. Don't fool yourselves that your God will save you. But the people did not answer. King Hezekiah had told them not to say a word. The three advisors went back to King Hezekiah and told him, all that Sennacherib's messenger had said. King Hezekiah was very worried. He sent his servant with a message to the prophet Isaiah. Now remember, God had chosen Isaiah to be his prophet, and Isaiah listened to the king's message. Don't be afraid by what Sennacherib says, he answered. God will send the Assyrians back home. 
Just then, a letter came for Hezekiah from Sennacherib. It said, You seem to think your God is big enough to fight me. I know he is not. He will never beat me. Then Hezekiah went up to the temple of the Lord and spread the letter out before the Lord. And he prayed, Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, enthroned between the cherubim, you alone are God over all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made heaven and earth. Give ear, O Lord, and hear. Open your eyes, Lord, and see. Listen to all the words Sennacherib has sent to ridicule you, the living God. Now, Lord our God, deliver us from his hand so that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you, Lord, are the only God. God answered Hezekiah's prayer. Isaiah sent him a message for Sennacherib and his army. We are laughing at you in Jerusalem, the message said. You think our God will not be able to stop you when you fight us, but he knew that you were coming. He is ready for that battle. He says he will not even let you come into the city. That night, the Bible says an angel of the Lord went through the Assyrian camp and killed hundreds and hundreds of men. The next morning, when the Israelites peeped over the city wall to see what was happening, they saw dead bodies everywhere. King Sennacherib broke camp and withdrew back to Nineveh in Assyria. The Assyrian army had not even been into the city. Now there would be peace in Jerusalem. What comes next? Look for Bible Shorts, Episode 83, The Aftermath, What Happens to Sennacherib and to King Hezekiah.